so it is December 4th. Maybe I would try to start like a little um, Christmas reading vlog or something because I don't really know what other video to do right now. So this is what I'm going to be attempting. Just to give you guys a little update on what I'm doing in reading. I gotta go to work today, but this morning I've been trying to catch up on some booktubers because I'm really behind on all of the videos. But it's Friday, a new episode of The Mandalorian comes out and I'm super excited about that. My coffee is cold now. As far as reading goes, I have not picked up a single one of my Christmas books yet. I've been stuck on the Book of Signs. I'm still reading this. It was part of my fall TBR and I was wanting to make more progress on this before I start one of my fiction books because I'm afraid that once I start some of my other books, I will not finish this one. But because I've been doing that, I haven't read much of anything at all. I'm on page 155, chapter 12. This is as far as I've gotten, so not even halfway through. I like have to get alone when I read this book. I make a lot much better progress when I'm like in my room alone and there's like no distractions. I can get into it a lot better. I think that's been my issue throughout this whole thing. I'm trying to read it in the living room with other people around and they're like doing stuff and it's just really distracting. But yeah, I think I'll definitely be able to finish it this month, but I think I'm going to start one of my fiction books today and I think I'll be okay. I think I'll still finish this one because it, it is good. It has some good stuff in here. I'm going to get ready because I got to go to work and then I'll catch up with you guys after work I guess okay it is Tuesday December 8th I am currently on page 175 that tells you how much I've been reading lately and I have not been reading anything else this is it I haven't even been reading like the Bible lately I don't know I've just had other stuff on my mind I guess so it's been hard for me to like get into anything I'm filming right now because I plan to start a book today I do have to go to work soon again I've been like spent the morning with my coffee on the couch and I watched a few booktube videos because I'm still very behind and trying to catch up on them all I feel like there's been so many more like that people have been uploading lately I'll have to wait till I get home and then I'll start a book and hopefully this vlog will get better yeah check in with you guys later this is the private selection brand salted caramel hot cocoa mix and it's like my new favorite thing it's so good all right so i'm finally going to start one of my christmas books this evening but i wasn't sure which one to start so i decided to write them on slips of paper put it in here and then just like pick one i don't have all my tbr books in here because I didn't want to start off with books that are rereads. I'm saving those probably to like last or something and some of the books are at the library and I haven't ordered them yet so these are just the ones that are available. I have five different ones. Alright I got the Under the Mistletoe and Undercover Cowboy novella collection by Lisa Harris so that's the one I'm going to start off with. And I'm very happy because I was hoping to start off with a novella, so that works for me.
so I need to go get ready for work. I've already waited too long, but before I do, I just wanted to give you a little update. I have been reading this morning. Last night, I finished the first Lisa Harris novella, Under the Mistletoe. It was very, very short. Um, I'll tell you about it later. I don't really have time right now. I read that one, and then this morning, I've been reading Undercover Cowboy, which is, um, a western obviously and I think I'm enjoying this one more than the other one but it's a little bit longer I have four chapters left I'll have to finish that this evening and then I'll start my next book and it's good to be like reading fiction again but yeah so I'm gonna go get ready so I can go to work yay yeah that was a real struggle and jerk my mom got me this candle it is Christmas tree farm. This is one of my favorite Christmas scents. Pine tree. It's the best. It's time to pick book number two. So I'm hoping I get like a physical book because I like doing like little time lapses of me reading the books but I it's kind of hard to do that when I'm reading on my phone because I usually use my phone to film with these vlogs because I don't want to set up my camera. That's just too much. So I hope I get a physical book and if I don't I might just keep picking until I get a physical book. Right. Oh, an Amish Christmas gift. I got one of my books that I own, so yay. Well, here it is. I really like the cover. It's very cute. And I don't think I've read an Amish book in a while, so this will be fun. It's three novellas, Naomi's Gift by Amy Clipston, An Unexpected Joy by Ruth Reed, and A Christmas Visitor by Kelly Irvin. I've read Naomi's Gift and I didn't really like it, so I'm not going to be rereading that one. And it's already like a little after 10.30 and I do have to get up in the morning, so I probably won't read much. Ow. I might just read like a couple chapters or something and then I'm going to go to bed. But I never did tell you about the other novellas that I read. What am I doing? I got so distracted by plugging in my tree that I forgot the update that I was going to give y'all. So, the Lisa Harris novellas. Under the Mistletoe was a contemporary romance. It was like about this girl. It was super short. It was like about this girl. She lives in this small town called Mistletoe. She owns a shop called Under the Mistletoe where she sells like things and it's just holiday themed all the time. And then like one of her best friends since childhood, this guy whose name I can't remember is his name Joshua, I believe. He's like a toy maker. He likes to like hand carve and hand paint like toys and then she sells them in her shop and everything. And he's been in love with her since the seventh grade. And recently she's been like restless with the small town life and everything. And then she meets this like fancy New Yorker guy guy and then Joshua is you know it's all that kind of stuff going on it was okay I guess they give that one like three stars I guess kind of like with novellas a lot of times I feel like things just happen quickly and things are skipped over because it has to be kept short like for instance this New Yorker guy that the main character is her name Holly I think that she meets you don't really I don't even think you even meet him and th there's like one very brief scene where you like meet him and he says a few things and then like that's it so you don't really I don't know it's kind of things like that where you don't really get that much the next one undercover cowboy was a western and there's this man Cole who is a Pinkerton detective and he goes to investigate some kind of thing that's going on at a ranch and the guy he's investigating is this girl's dad her name's Abigail and then I don't even know. Yeah, it's a western romance. Again, it was okay. There was a lot of typos in both of these novellas. That was one thing that I noticed that was annoying. Lots and lots of typos. I guess I give the collection three stars, I guess. It did get me back into reading though, so that's a good thing. So I guess with this one, I'm going to start with A Christmas Visitor because that was the one that interested me the most. I've already got to interrupt for a second because toast colored hair, like of all things, why did you compare it to toast? Like that could also mean a lot of different colors depending on how toasted your toast is. Is it like burnt toast or is it very lightly toasted toast? This is not really a helpful description. Just. Anyway, 
I'm going to finish the last page of chapter 3 and then I'm going to go to bed and then I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Okay, it is Saturday, December 12th. About this book. Okay, so I did read the two novellas. I liked both of the ones I read. I thought they were both cute and just kind of like a different, slower pace than a lot of the stuff I had been reading. Cute little reads, little romances where everything ends happily ever after. I love it. I don't really know which one I liked better. As a whole, I give the book four out of five stars. And an unexpected joy. Abigail is like in her 20s now and kind of the time has passed, she thinks, to find a husband at this point. She's kind of driven all the men away and now she thinks it's too late. She needs to save money so she can like get her own horse and like be independent and stuff. So she becomes a caregiver for Micah Zook's grandmother. But in the process, they end up falling in love. So yeah, that one was cute. I liked it. And... In a Christmas visitor, Franny Mast, she was doing her rumspringa thing and she met this guy named Rocky and they were spending a lot of time together and to get her away from him, her parents sent her to stay with her aunt and uncle for Christmas time. So she's trying to be a good Amish girl and obey all the rules and stuff so she can get baptized into the church in the spring and all that stuff but then Rocky follows her to Texas and now she's like, now what do I do? So I really liked that one too. That was cute. I guess that's it for now. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I wanted to like include more stuff in the vlog, but it just didn't work out. It never does, does it? I'll probably do another vlog and I have like a Christmas tag video planned. Hopefully I can get these out before Christmas. Wish me luck. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video.